Hello everyone. I welcome you on board flight of Captain Vijay in the series of flights to study meteorology for DGCA CPL and ATPL examination. Today we will fly through the topic of air masses which is a short and simple topic. So fasten your seat belts as we are ready for take off. An air mass is a large volume of air spread across thousands of kilometer where the humidity and temperature in horizontal plane are more or less constant vertically they extend up to tropopause the reason for humidity and temperature to be almost constant is that the ground below the air mass has a constant profiling of humidity and temperature air mass pick up these two properties of humidity and temperature from the ground or the sea surface below for the air mass to pick up these properties it must remain more or less stagnant or stable over a geographical area either over ground or over sea and it takes about 1 to 2 weeks of time to acquire the property from the surface below this kind of stability or stagnation can only happen where there is a high pressure area on the planet as you would be knowing that high pressure belts are stable and more or less stagnant so if you look at the pressure pattern profiling of the entire planet you will notice that there are two high pressure belts one is at subtropical high at approximately 23.5 degree north and south and second is over the poles which are called polar high so these are the areas which are the sources of air masses as air mass move across the planet due to winds it moves over different profile of ground or sea and its property changes it gets modified at source all air masses must be stable so that it can acquire the properties from the surface below cold air mass moving to a warmer area will become warm temperature lapse rate will increase resulting in instability and formation of cumulus clouds and relative humidity will reduce as you know that higher the temperature lesser the relative humidity on the other hand warm air mass moving towards the colder area will become cold the temperature lapse rate would reduce resulting in stability in the atmosphere so stratiform clouds will form and relative humidity will become higher due to reduced temperature moving on to types of air masses as we have studied that there are two basic properties of an air mass first is temperature and second is humidity water content moisture whatever you want to call it hence air masses classification will depend on two factors first whether the air mass has originated over cold or hot regions of the planet and second whether it originated over sea or over land hot or cold region of the planet will govern its temperature profile and over land or over sea would govern its water content moisture and humidity so now it is obvious that air masses can be classified into six categories and logically anybody can make a wise guess about its temperature and moisture just by knowing its name the first is arctic it originates over north and south pole and the properties are that they are extremely cold and of low humidity second is polar continental originates over sub polar areas over land they are cold and with low humidity polar maritime originates over sub polar areas over sea temperature profile is cold and they have high humidity due to origin over sea surface tropical continental originates over sub tropical areas over continents so they are warm and with low humidity tropical maritime originates over sub tropical areas over sea temperature profile warm and high humidity due to origin over sea surface and the last is equatorial maritime originates over equator over sea 
and since there are no significant land masses along equator so only maritime and they are the hottest air mass with highest humidity so obviously maritime air masses will have higher humidity as compared to continental and temperature profiling wise the arctic will be coldest and the equatorial will be the hottest warm air masses are usually of tropical origin moving to higher latitudes and if they move to cooler surface they cool from the surface upwards this causes inhibiting of vertical motion and gives rise to stratiform clouds light rain drizzle and poor visibility cold air masses are mostly of polar origin and move to lower latitude in the passage over warm surfaces the lapse rate will increase resulting in instability resulting in cumuliform clouds and showers and visibility is generally good if it is not raining now it is very important for us to know what are the air masses in indian subcontinent there are three air masses which affect indian subcontinent first is equatorial maritime which originates over indian ocean and covers up to 25 degree north latitude of india and the southwest monsoon which hits india has equatorial maritime air mass second and very obvious is tropical continental which gives cold and dry weather it is the most common air mass in winter producing fair weather and poor visibility and the last is tropical maritime which originates over north pacific oceans and arrives over india crossing southeast asian countries and very very occasionally and very rarely we also see polar continental air mass entering india in winters and causing cold wave conditions so hope this video has helped you in understanding the short and small topic of air masses with this we have arrived at our destination subscribe the channel for more such informative videos on aviation do not forget to comment below about how did you like the video or if you want me to cover a specific topic so hope to see you on board again for the next flight until then happy landings